Well, what's up folks? Green Beef here, playing some Star Citizen. I decided to try recording with my Track IR and Hotas. See how well this works. It's kind of working. Hopefully this doesn't make you want to vomit. And I cannot turn off chat, so that's going to be really annoying as I play. But the reason I'm playing is I want to do some I want to do some dogfighting out in space, mostly with AI. In anticipation for the free fly event coming up. That is November 20th to December 5th. You've got essentially two weeks of free flying. Where a lot of ships are gonna be available. Uh, you can rent them for free in game if you have an account. You can fire it up and uh, just jump in the verse and play. So it's a good time to test out Star Citizen, see if you like it. It's in a pretty decent state right now. Hopefully they get some of the back end problems fixed, but uh, it's okay. Those are actually some players right there. Let's see, what are we gonna get? Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, let's claim my destroyed Drake Herald, which will be replaced by Mercury Star Runner soon. All right, my claim is going through, I believe. No, maybe. There we go. Uh, we're going to take out my Saber because that's still my favorite fighter out there. It does quite well. But yeah, if you want to jump into the expo, I got to go to pad one. Uh, yeah, create an account. You can use my referral code if you'd like. I do benefit from that, but so do you. You get some free in-game money. And eventually, the more referrals I get, the more stuff I get, which I might just give away to you guys. We'll see. We'll see. But I'll throw my code up here, and if you look in the description down below, you can use that referral code there. And I appreciate it. <laughs> All you have to do is create an account, actually. And then if you decide to buy a game package, you can do that. Let me cut this out, because I'm just waiting on... There we go. Pad one. Are you a cat girl? Hmm. Is there love in the verse that's going on here? While I enjoy my space coffee? Who knows? I'll try to cut things out if my head whips around while I look down at my hotas. And as long as my screen doesn't go totally crazy, I think we can do this. But I am flying with a Thrustmaster Warthog stick. I've got a Verpal CM50, I think. Throttle <laughs> with a bunch of buttons. And I've got their rudder, rudder pedals as well, a Verpal. Plus I'm running Game Glass and my Track IR on my head. I've got a lot of peripheral stuff going on. Really makes for a fun experience though in dogfighting. You know what's really cool though? I'm out here on my pad at the truck space or space truck stop with big big Benny's noodles up there. Uh, but down there on the planet is Lorville. Like that, you actually fly down there and land. Really cool that you can see that from space. Anyways, let's get in the cockpit. <laughs> let's go do some stuff. All right, I used my game glass for powering things on usually. Earth power. Let's get a contract up and running. I was having problems with my loadout before. Oh, well, good. This is coming up. Nice. Yeah, I was having trouble getting that up. Ah. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Let's go get Jarrett Hargrave. Let's plot her out before we take off, because usually that's what you do when you fly things. You know where you're going before you go. Let's kick on the engines. All right, let's bring that down. Come on up just a little bit and go. And this is a problem. <laughs> Some kind of bug happening where it opens my cockpit. Not cool. A little breezy out here in space, I guess. 
Can you please come down? Thank you. And please visit again. Anytime now. That'd be great. Let's jump to OM1. We got four jumps we gotta do. Jeez. It's mostly because we gotta get around this big old planet. Let's go to Ariel. And away we go. If you do use the free fly event and get in the verse and you want to jump into some bigger ships, go ahead and hit me up. My name is the same as my channel, Green Beef. So you can hit me up on there and uh, I'll take you around. Go do some contracts and stuff. I need to pan up, jump over to the top of this planet that's really hot. Now you can just fly there if you want, but you've got to figure that's going to take you some time. It's best to just jump in. Now if you're trying to go all spooky and stealthy, you can do that where you fly in close to the target. And then uh, go slow speeds in. Well, we're in a fight soon. Let's see, where is he at? Sometimes it moves the uh, indicator for you. The waypoint, rather. Where are you at? Where is it? I can't even see my pip. Usually you have to leave the area and then come back. Get a little close on that one. Let's kick up the speed a little bit. There he is. Where are you at, scum? Well, looks like uh, AI's already engaging him, or somebody is. Bring that speed down just a wee bit. And we are in range. Getting a little jerky there. That's a little server lag. Done. It's like AI security out here. Yep, person security. <laughs> Interesting. Off we go. Let's go to our contracts. Let's look up some. Oh, there's an ECN alert. This is usually helping somebody. Uh, yeah, let's go do one of those. Those are fun. They're short lived little contracts that come up. Somebody putting out a distress beacon, generally. There's a lot of space debris going by my cockpit, so. Oh man, are they really that close? Let's just do a little fly out there. We're not going to do the big jump. We're going to enjoy some space coffee between dogfights. Oh, that might have been a little weird. <laughs> Good stuff. I'm going to have to pull myself back just a little bit. Readjust my pedals. There we go. Now I'm in a better position. Bring that game glass up here. Game glass is a great thing. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. I don't get any kickbacks for this or anything, but they just released Game Forge, which basically you can create your own modules for any game. They've got pre-built ones for Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. I'm gonna bring down my speed below the red line, so I have more control. Um, but yeah, basically you can map any function in a game if it's got the API for it to virtual buttons on a tablet device, touchscreen. It's good times. Hmm. 
So Star Citizen also has eye tracking. Now I'm using Track IR, which is three little infrared beacons. They've got an IR camera that's looking for those in their position. You can uh, deal with the curves and make your movements a little smoother, which is probably what I should do for these videos. Instead of uh, just doing my regular head whipping, because it doesn't matter to me. If I look down really fast, I'm not looking at the screen. Plus, I have a very high tolerance for motion sickness. Mainly because, well, I don't know. <laughs> I just have it. Probably because I've been playing games for a very long time. One of the things that's tough, I think, that's, well, going to be disorienting for a lot of people in turret gameplay is the ability to be spatially aware of where you are, especially since you're not physically in there. You can't feel the directional movement. Uh, I was a sensor operator on aircraft doing ISR missions for a good portion of my career. Thousands of hours <laughs> of doing stuff. But operating a camera, I had to know where my field of view was, where I was looking in relation to the direction of the aircraft, where it was going, where my target was, where I needed to go and be able to correlate that. Sometimes just look out the window and go, oh, okay, that's where that is. It's at a 090. And that's why I'm really glad for turret gameplay. They added directional headings, both relative and absolute, in relation to the heading of the aircraft, that kind of stuff. Really fun. Maybe I should do a video on that. Explaining turret gameplay. I might do that. Just maybe. In my really succinct format. But we're about to get into it. It's about to get hot. So we're going to go. So anyone else in Clasher? That means somebody's in prison. I tried to do a video where I was going to go do bounty hunting of real people. <laughs> it didn't work out. Because apparently he was in an armistice zone and I just launched three torpedoes at him. Hello! That's... Can anyone hear me? Hello! I can hear you. Oh, Very oh, loud. Coming. Launch missile away. Where'd he go? Did he just despawn? Ah, uh, they got radar lock on me. Alright, yep. Get some, buddy. I think I just took out one of his engines. Yeah, he's all over the place. That makes him very hard to target. There's another target coming in. Let's slow it down. Shit! I find if you strafe down or up, while going at the target, you can avoid most of their fire. At least for the AI people, it's a little different. I'm not going to be out of sleep for days after that. Ooh. Crap, that was close. Let's go check out this guy. I'll tell you what, if you intentionally crash your ship and survive, I'll let you walk. Sorry. I was hoping you'd do it. Very strange. Strange banter. So there's usually an AI actually flying this, and there are ways to get on board. Mainly by shooting doors. Let's take a look in the cockpit. Need some real granular uh, movements here. Come on. There he is. Look at that. Let's zoom in a little bit. I hit A. <laughs> it wasn't my track IR gone. Yep, there you go. He's got the same helmet I do. No co-pilot. No captain. Alright, well. Have a good day, sir. gonna do next this game does have some very good graphics very appealing aesthetics especially the fact that like this isn't baked in it's not faked like that sunrise and sunset is actually because that star is the light source for this area very cool like, there's actual orbital mechanics going on
All right, let's see what else we got. I'm gonna go do some. I'm gonna lost in space. Uh, this isn't really worth it with a fighter. Let's go do one of these. We're gonna evict illegal occupants from a planet side base, and I'm gonna practice some strafing runs. I think that sounds fun. Very least, it'd be a good way to round out this episode because uh, I may die very quickly. <laughs> We gotta go fast, cause, uh, well, this is gonna take a while. Get some more coffee. That's an MLG Pro Gamer move, drinking coffee while going into Quantum. Whoa, the planet hadn't rendered in yet. sounds. Let's bring our speed down a little bit. Uh, we need to go to, I think, up. Oh, yeah. Where am I going? Where's my target at? There it is. We're going to do a spline jump around the planet using quantum. That gets you around a little faster. There's a lot of people that complain about these, but in an alpha state, I don't think... It's worth it. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it to shut that off and make people fly everywhere at slow speeds. I mean, eventually it's not going to be not going to make sense to fly gigantic ships down to the planet side because getting back out will probably cost you all your fuel. So you're going to have a lot of smaller snub craft like I have in my uh, Carrick. Because I can fit a small craft in there and you go fly down to the planet surface there and have your AI run on your ship. About to come out of the spline jump. Down we go. So I can have a lot of fun by turning my ship into stealth mode. So if you watch this panel that I'm looking at now, if I turn off my weapons, Weapon systems offline. see my electromagnetic signature is dropping. That's for stealth mechanics. Now, I could drop my power overall down so my engines aren't, or my power plants aren't generating too much power. You can see my signature's dropping. If I turn off my shields, shields offline. it goes even lower. So you can get some real sneaky gameplay in. This is supposed to be a stealth ship. Yep, shields down. Let me power that back shields up. Online. Kick those Open weapons back online. online. And there we go. Shields are back up. Well, let's speed things up just a wee bit. Let's look at my loadout. What am I carrying, weapons-wise? Nothing. Well, let's fix that. I don't have much. Uh, I'm carrying a little bit of everything. <laughs> I feel like I had more weapons. I don't know where they went. Hmm. I've got a P4AR mag. We'll do that. And we'll throw a little two times sight on there. I'll throw a throw a comp on there. What else do we want? I can always change my loadout down here. Uh let's take the sniper raffle. I need the P6LR. And we'll do that for this too. And we'll swap out this BR. Now nah, that S38 mag is my sidearm. So we're good there. And we'll go with another P4AR. If I can find it. There it is. What about utility? I should probably check to make sure I'm not about to fly into the planet. I'm living dangerously though. So I got some O2 pins. We're good to go. Great. 12 clicks out. Speed this up a little bit. So we're going to try some strafing runs on turrets on the ground. I don't want to go like full on hover mode, but I want to come in a little hot. Do a little brapping. 
brr, song of my people. This is the case for the A-10 Warthog. <laughs> Okay, we're coming in hot. Coming in a little slow, actually. Let's let's bring it up. Coming in. Got a nice little sunset, I believe. That'll make for some interesting shadows. Strange ping on my signature. What is that all about? Let's slow her down. Should be picking these guys up here shortly. Alright, I'm locked on. Well, they're locked on to me. And here comes the fire. That did not work. Well, that was fun. <laughs> so strafing this is not a good idea. The problem is I didn't have like eyes on the targets for a while. If I was able to lock on earlier, I think it would have been better. Yeah, anyways. I think this will be a nice little short video where we just do that and uh, yeah. I'm probably going to call it there. But hey, yeah, if you want to do the free fly event that's coming up November 20th to December 2nd, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. There'll be a bunch of ships on sale. I don't know if game packages will be on sale, but I mean, they'll be selling them. They're just not going to be at a discounted price, probably. But you get to fly for free for you know, about a two week period, especially over the holidays and some of these lockdowns going on. But yeah. Get on there, you can use my code when you create an account, you'll get a little extra in-game money. I think like 4,000 Alpha UEC, which, I mean, that'll help you get started on some things. You're not gonna be able to buy a ship with it, but you can buy some cargo, you can buy a gun, and go do things. But yeah, thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Hopefully this uh, track iron didn't make you vomit. <laughs>